It's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you an easy way that you can create visuals like this, where we're showing progress to completion from zero to five levels or steps, ratings from one star or zero stars actually up to five stars. Now, typically when I see people uh, use these sorts of visuals, they are drawing shapes and then having to line them up and format them. That's an awful lot of work. So what I want to do is to show you a much easier way to do it using symbols that are part of a font. Let me go to my next slide here. And this gives you an indication, and the reason I've got all these uh, character codes here on the right-hand side is because those are the symbol codes that I want you to be thinking about that you might want to use. All of the circles, whether they're filled or hollow, the stars filled or hollow, that I have on the slide here are not shapes. They are actually characters in the font Segoa UI symbol. Segoa UI symbol is a re really great font because it has all these great symbols, both filled and hollow, and it also has regular text. So you can actually combine words and symbols in a particular text box or even in a shape. So let me show you how this works. What we're going to do is I'm going to use a simple text box first. So, so I'm going to just simply insert a text box here on the slide. And what you want to do is, is you want to use insert symbol. So I'm going to go to the insert ribbon and I'll zoom in. On the right hand side under symbols, you want to select this symbol button. What it does is it opens up the symbol dialog box here. And so what it's doing is it's allowing you to select the font at the top, and then you can type in these character codes here. That's why I've listed the character codes for you, because it's so much easier than trying to scroll through everything. So go with UI symbol. Now, when you drop this list down, yeah, there's a huge list of symbols uh, or of fonts here. So just scroll down until you find this one. It's uh, about three quarters of the way, a little more than three quarters of the way down. So the character code that we want to type in, we just simply type it in here. So let me use these uh, filled and hollow squares. So the hollow square is 25FB. So I'll simply type in here 25FB. And it automatically selects, you notice that the name here, white medium square, and you'll notice it selected that symbol right there. Now I can simply say insert. One of the things to notice is that it does not close this dialog box when you click insert because it gives you that opportunity to insert another shape. Many times the filled and the hollow are side by side as you see them here. So if I want to select the filled one, I can simply click on it and I've selected that one. Sometimes they're different. That's why I have the codes there for you. And now I can say insert that character. Now I'll close the dialog box. And I have in my text box here, I have the, fill, the hollow square and the filled square. So if I wanted to show a number of hollow squares, then filled squares, I can just simply copy and paste these characters because that's all they are. They're just characters. So let's say I want to show five of the hollow ones first. So I'll select just that particular character, say control C and then go between them. Control V, two, three, four, five. Then maybe I'll hit enter because I want the next line and I'll put one filled, I'll leave that one there and then I'll say Control V for the other four. Then maybe what I'll do is I'll copy the first four, Control C, Control V, then I'll just copy the first one and see how quick and easy that is because they're just characters. You don't have to worry about lining them up. You don't have to worry about spacing them out because it's they're monospaced characters. So they all always line up. And because it is a font, if they're too far apart, you can just simply adjust the line spacing. So I can go up to my home ribbon. I can go to uh, the line spacing here and say I want to go to the options and in the dialog box I can say instead of single line spacing maybe I want multiple and I'll say let's say 0 0.85 
And let's zoom in and see what that, oh, that's, that's definitely better. Now it's tighter. So it gives you this ability to create these progress or ratings very quickly and easily. And because these are fonts, you can also change the color of them very easily simply by changing the color of the font. So if I didn't want these black and white, let's say I wanted them a version of green. So I select all the text and then in my font colors here, I can simply change to say, I want this font color to be this green. Okay. And now I have my characters all as green. So you can match whatever theme, whatever colors that you want to match very quickly, very easily. And like I said, because Segoe UI symbol has regular characters as well, if I needed to put some text in front, uh, let's say area one colon space. So now see it's, I can have whatever I want. Okay, now, depending on what text you put in front, obviously they wouldn't line up with each other anymore, but just to show you, you can add the text in there if you want. So it's quick and easy to do that. I've got these different shapes, the squares, the triangles, diamonds, circles, stars, all the characters listed there for you. And the other thing that's nice about these symbols is, is they work within table cells as well. Table cells, you know, it's always hard to put shapes in there because if the table adjusts, because it, tables do adjust automatically sometimes on you, then the shapes aren't in the right spot. But these are simply characters. So if I added, I'm just gonna add a very simple uh, two by two table here, and let's move it down and make it not nearly so wide and get rid of the theme colors here, okay. So now when I go into the text for the first cell, I would go again back to my insert ribbon, go to the symbols, and this time let's say I wanted to do uh, the circles. So I'm going to have one filled circle, or two filled circles, and three of the hollow circles. Notice, the, and I'll zoom in so you can see this, you notice down at the bottom here it says recently used symbols. So if you're using these symbols over and over again, you don't really have to go and find the character codes because they're probably already going to be here, right there. So I've got my filled circle, insert that. If you want to insert a second one, you can do that. And then the hollow circle and insert one, two, three. Now close it. And we see I have that inserted in my table. So if the table moves, if the table resizes, those characters, those symbols are always going to be in that table cell. So this is a lot more flexibility than using shapes, whether you use a text box, whether you use a table, whether you use it within a shape, because it's simply text, it's characters. So when you have to put rating or progress visuals on your next set of slides, try out this technique. This video is an example of the practical advice that I share in my live in-person or virtual workshops that help teams create more effective presentations in less time. If that's of interest to you, get in touch. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching.